Modern day advancement in unmanned aerial vehicle technology has revolutionized the capabilities of drones, making them a more applicable solution to industrial and urban problems. The Unmanned Aerial Agronomy Surveillance Vehicle, UAASV, seeks to amalgamate multiple concepts of electrical and electronics engineering in an effort to design a fully autonomous drone. Our product aims to integrate cutting-edge UAV technology with convolutional neural networks to develop efficient agronomy surveillance solutions. In order to make our product a reality, we had to consider facing challenges in the following fields. We want a drone that can avoid obstacles and efficiently cover the areas required by our mission. The drone would then stream video and images back to our computer for cloud-based image processing. Video and images will be streamed using a Wi-Fi frequency, which will then be given as inputs to the convolutional neural network model. The CNN model will then provide the user with relevant data about the area or object of interest. Lastly, in order to achieve a higher level of autonomy, UAASV seeks to implement the feature of autonomous charging. The addition will require further integration of UAV path planning and the battery. The project has been systematically broken down to these submodules. Each of these submodules, except for the drone assembly module, is assigned a dedicated team member to successfully tackle the challenge. Shown here is the hardware setup for our proposed solution. As you can see, the user interacts with the user computer and the radio transmitter. The onboard companion computer, with respect to the ground control software, controls the flight controller, which in turn controls the motors and other sensors of the drone. To help us ease our challenges regarding pad planning, we chose to use the Pixhawk 4 flight controller along with the PX4 Autopilot firmware. The versatility of PX4 solutions makes it easy to implement pipe planning in a quick, streamlined process. Our image processing solution requires the implementation of a convolutional neural network. We use the Keras API to help us build our CNN model, which is then trained using the original image dataset that we got from the University of California at Riverside. When it comes to choosing our camera, we must consider certain parameters. The resolution of a tree in an image must be at least clear enough for us to be able to process the fruit. In other words, if the image of a tree is taken 10 meters away, then the resolution of the fruit should be at least 200 by 200 pixels in order for the image processing to work. Perhaps the most courageous endeavor of UAASV, the autonomous charging feature, adds a layer of complexity to the design process. Plans for implementation explore the use of lithium-ion batteries, efficient path planning, and careful maintenance of optimal weight. However, concerns of coil misalignment and rate of power transfer may hinder the implementation of this feature. UAASV is a project that requires multiple forms of communication. Not only does the drone have to communicate with the ground control software, but it also must stream video and image data along with battery telemetry. Therefore, in an order to simplify user interface, all communication protocols will be readily available for user calibration requirements. UAVs in agriculture help optimize crop production and monitor crop growth. The bird's eye view of the drone effortlessly provides a different perspective for our clients' farms. Such perspectives can reveal unhealthy crops that the naked eye could miss. Additionally, UAASV dramatically lowers surveillance costs but still increases surveillance frequency. The agricultural drone industry is projected to be worth almost $6 billion by 2025. Unmanned Aerial Agronomy Surveillance Vehicle aims to enter the market by revolutionizing the agricultural industry by making surveillance faster, cheaper, and more accurate. Our 
Experts in agronomy help us design our drone in order to best facilitate the needs of our clients.